Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am talking about the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. So if you've been on my cha channel before, you realize I have reviewed several Kat Von D items. I love them. I love her. The items are always great. So I actually bought this palette for three colors, four colors, five colors that caught my eye six colors and that's this section right here which is what I use to do my eye look today now it's not to say I'm not going to do another look using these fun colors here and here but I wanted to start out with these because they just caught my eye now I do know that you guys are going to be like well you already have those colors they're in the Urban Decay palette they're in like six other palettes that came out you're right but Kat has a, a reputation of doing superior work and so with her superior work I wanted to check it out and I do love these. So I have again several of Kat's palettes and each and every one always performs amazing. So I started out with this color here called Sarah. I was expecting it to come off as light as it is in the palette and, and maybe that's the wrong word. But like I put it on and whew, boom, pigmentation, like kapow in your face. So then I realized I had to be careful with some of the other ones and go in with a much, much lighter hand. And to be honest with you, I mean, no fallout. I had no issues with fallout. I did blend because I went in too heavy handed in the beginning. This peachish pink color is why I bought the whole palette. I know you see one color and you feel like you have to have the whole palette. But I do love Kat, so I did want something from her 10 year anniversary and this eyeshadow palette is amazing. I love the gold. You can see, hold on, let me try to wipe off some of my fingerprints. I didn't do a good job. Kind of slid across that one. Um, but you can see the palette is extremely well made. It's, very, it's not like very heavy, but it's got some weight to it. So the quality in this palette and the packaging is fantastic, but it's not just a beautiful package because sometimes that packaging gets me to buy it. But then when I get inside and I use it, I'm like, eh, Ugh. the packaging was so pretty though. This packaging is pretty and the colors are dynamic. It does have a large mirror, as you can see, I'm trying to keep the mirror out. I mean, it's just sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Again, the colors go on amazing, no fallout. So then I wonder why other beauty packages that get relaunched or redone still are not that fantastic. It just, it boggles my mind. Um, Kat's just, I guess, figured it out. And then again, this peachy shimmery color here, I was able to use with a brush, which I rather use a brush than my finger because A, it kind of grosses me out for some reason to put fingers in palettes. Even if I clean it or I know my fingers are clean, it's just something about, I want to use a brush. It's my own thing. I get it. I'm weird. Mm -hmm. I am. Anyone knows me knows I'm weird. But I want to be able to use a brush to get it in the right spot. I feel like I'm just all thumbs when I try to use my finger to put it in the right spot. It just is not comfortable for me, which is why. I hate it. So I love the fact that hers went on really easy, no problems, lots of shimmer, in fact has an iridescence in it. And then I do love the fact that, um, and I did use the wrong names in the my video to come. So in my video to come, ignore every name I just said because now that I've got the back of this one, it lets me know what I thought. Okay, so yeah I had the total wrong names I'm gonna have to fix that throughout the video that really sucks I thought this said leather which was the brown mm -mm. it helps when you can read this says Lafar or Leafar the Adele is the brown Melanie Alexandra Malice Ashley and Nancy is basically who I believe I use so I will fix that throughout the video because now that is funny I always I hate when they put the, the things on the back because I'm always confused what color goes with what. I know, I'm special. 
Obviously, I need to keep this for future videos so that I do do the right colors. But anyways, how do I feel about this palette? Kat, you did a great job all over again. No surprise. I'm so excited about your 10-year anniversary. You have a lot going on right now that is wonderful between your 10-year launch, your recent nuptials, your baby to come. So, like, this is your year to shine personally and professionally, and I'm absolutely excited for you. And I'm a, I was excited to purchase this little bit um, as part of that 10 year anniversary. I may look into some of the other products she has out with the 10 year anniversary because again, there's a lot of great, the, the formula in this is really strong. Um, it's just a great palette. So if you like those colors between the pinks, or excuse me, the peaches, the greens, a bit of yellow, a bit of blues, you're gonna love this palette um, again the formula is off the hook and terribly wonderful terribly wonderful is not an oxymoron I'm a moron but yes the the formula is fantastic that's all I need to say okay so anyways if you want to see how I play with these colors using the wrong names but hopefully I'll get the right names in there um, then you're in the right place so stay tuned oh and on this palette I give it a 10 out of 10 I would totally repurchase this one again already and I haven't used all the colors but I already know if the rest of the colors do as good as these ones did 10 out of 10 you might need it all right here KBD, we go 10th annual anniversary 10th annual didn't make sense 10th anniversary did so the palette sizes are beautiful love them love the packaging but we'll get into that later but today, the reason why I bought it actually was for this section here. And so we're going to play with this section here today because that's why I bought it. So we're going to use that as our first little test look. And then uh, hopefully I can get into this a few more times and try a couple different other type of looks. But, hmm. So we'll start with this one here. Which so Sarah, I'm going to use, oh, uh-oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that color. Sarah, I'm going to now blend down in the transition area, or blend it out. Wow, that was, hello sunshine, we have pigment. But as you can see, it blended so pretty. So pretty. Oh man, I'll tell you what, my tail has been dragging. I've been taking vitamins. If anything, I'm sleeping better, but I'm dragging, y'all. I am dragging. So we're gonna take this color here, which is, I build up Sylvia. We're giving Sylvia some self-esteem and building that up. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I don't know what is going on. I can't seem to get energy. I'm taking vitamins. I am just exhausted. And I can't seem to shake whatever it is that is making me this exhausted. But I don't feel like I'm sick. You know, sometimes you know a cold's coming on. Like, I don't feel that way. I just feel like I can't get, I just can't get energy. I'm exhausted all the time. If any of you guys have had that problem and you know how to get around it, please comment below, cause I need help. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Layla. So I'm gonna be really careful with Layla after seeing what uh, Sarah did to me this morning. <laughs> I put it on the edge of the brush and I'm flipping the brush up because I really would like this more in the crease. And I'm not going all the way. I'm kind of going halfway with the, the crease. So glad I got this. We do have family coming in soon, which who knows when this will be out. Most likely by the time that I put this out, my family will have already been here. Um, love my in-laws. My husband has the best 
family. His dad's side is a trip. They are so hilarious and they're all coming out shortly. So really looking forward to having a good time with great people. And when I go to Vegas, I'm gonna use this color here called Chad. I do end up staying with his dad and stepmom. And I just love my stepmom. My, my stepmom is the best. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Um, I have so much fun laughing with her. And yeah, we just have a really great time together. Or at least I feel like we have a really great time together because I'm always laughing. So I always think laughing is a great time together. Even if it's an uncomfortable laugh. All right, now we're gonna get the color leather. I can't wait to do this one. So they, they're they coming out. Um, they haven't been to Texas yet. So the uncles and the cousins and everyone is coming. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's in about two weeks, which will be loads of fun. And I mean loads. You may want to go ahead and pick up this color Sarah again. And just kind of go back over what I blended out here. And I got my handy dandy cut crease. Really, I'm just going to try to get the edges more this time. We're going to cheat. We're just going to do the edges. Alright, now let's do the edges of the other one. I'm thinking I only really need the edges. I don't need the whole bit because I can fill in the rest of it. So, yeah, we're just doing the edges. We're trying a different way of using the stamp. Okay, so now that we have the edges, I'll just take my concealer and kind of follow that as my guide. Yeah, that edge just makes it nice and quick. Oh no! But that's why we like testing things over and over, right? Okay, and then the real reason why I bought this palette was this pretty peach color here. You guys are finding me out. That's why I really wanted this palette for that one color. <laughs> That's nice. It's a peach color, but it's got kind of a pink, a pinkish, or maybe even a touch of a purple shift. Which I love the peaches. I think because my skin has so much red in it or a red undertone that when I wear pinks, I just feel like it really picks up that red undertone. When I wear peaches, I feel like eh, we can hide the red undertone. I think I'm going to have to use that on the lower lash line. And I like how you can use a brush, which is exciting. Instead of being stuck with your finger, I hate using my finger in palettes. Okay, so I did go down lower on that because we are gonna kind of smoke it out a bit. Shocker! I know, I know. Y'all are like, I'm shocked, I'm amazed. Okay, my favorite Marc Jacobson earthquake. And then I'm going to take that little flat brush we used with the color leather. I feel the need for some espresso. <laughs> I need 
maybe that's it. Maybe I just have cut back caffeine to a point that I didn't realize. Except I still feel like I drink the same amount of caffeine unless Rob's gone. I don't know what my problem is. I really need help. I did get my blood work back this week. Actually, yesterday. They do that for work. And I feel like after I read it, I'm one step away from dying. <laughs> That's not true. It isn't true. I know it's not true, but it just reminds you that like most of the categories that I was super high in, it would say could be stress related. And I'm thinking, really? With everything I have going on with my poor little grandmother and then just work in general, you think I'm stressed? Shoot. So the recommendation is for me to go see my doctor, which I was just there for a physical. And she was asking how things were and I said, I'm beyond stressed. Other than that, I'm great. So now I get to go back with my blood work since I'm near death, just kidding. And say, see, my blood work even says I'm stressed. Blood work really is interesting though. It's amazing how you can tell someone you're stressed and that um, you got a lot going on with you yet your your blood picks up on it my older me would go back and tell my younger me pay attention in science you may think you're not gonna like it now or you don't know how to apply it now but in the future you're gonna watch what's called YouTube and you're gonna see all kinds of videos about things that intrigue you in the medical world so why don't you pay attention your later self will love you for it Looks like I'm gonna have to fix my highlighter when I did the magic eraser right here. I magic erased some of the highlighter off, which I used the Tardius Pro highlighter. Um, I had gotten it in a BoxyCharm box, and I'm not really into liquid highlighters because I always pull off like the foundation and the powder or whatever, whatever else you have going on. So it drives me insane. This little bad boy actually doesn't pull it off and it just kapow, kapow, kapow. it's just phenomenal okay I think I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes off camera I'm gonna get that little black dot from the mascara off in a second and I'm gonna fix my highlighter which I said was the Tardius Pro Glow and this color is in sparkler and sparkler it does and you don't have to use very much that's the part that is fun you really don't have to use much so i'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done and possibly put on some false eyelashes so what do you guys think about a really peachy look want to say hello to miss sis um how do you like the peachy look is it too peachy it's got a lot of peach in it as far as my lips go i do in the peachy world i'm using kylie cosmetics birthday suit all over the lip and then glamour which is the glitter in the middle of the lip Highlighter, or I'm sorry, bronzer was Hula Light, which I might go in with something a little bit darker. I feel like this is way too white, and it may just be the lights in here. And then, uh, so lips, cheeks. Oh, I did pull out one of my old favorites, the Too Faced, uh, and this is in the Perfect Flush Blush. So that's the blush. I think that's about it for right now. So I'm going to go finish my hair. And Thank you so right. much for watching the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.